Three. So there they go. Looks like Samsung started to take the lead there quick. The iPhone 5S is still loading up. So there it is, the Note 3 came in quicker there at loading or booting up speeds. Then there comes the iPhone 5S. I think the iPhone uh, lost that one there for a few seconds. All right, now jumping right into the processing test. I'm going to be testing here with the Geekbench application, both devices. And like I said before, all these specs will be in the video description down below so you guys can read them. Uh, I have the Geekbench 3 application on both devices. We're going to go ahead and run the process right now. All right, so there the iPhone came in at 1415 on a single core and 2559 on a dual core. It actually finished first. And there the uh, Note 3 came in at 940 on a single core performance and a 2874 uh, dual core performance or multiple core performance. I don't think I'm going to do this test again. This is kind of uh, weird. Let's go ahead and do that again. So there you go. Once again, the iPhone finished the process faster at 1410 on single core and 2560 on a multiple core test. This is the second test. So there's the Samsung phone finished second. Now, it's interesting on a single core, the iPhone outperformed the Note, but the Note actually outperformed the iPhone not by a whole lot on a multiple core. As you can see there, the scores, you guys can also run these tests yourself. I have a link to the applications below, but these are, are the scores. There you go. So now let's go ahead and do more testing. All right, guys, so the next test I'm going to be performing is a Wi-Fi test. Now, I do have, I do, uh, have a dual uh, band a Wi-Fi network here in my house. So I'm going to be going I'm going to show you guys that both devices are connected to the exact same uh, Wi-Fi network here. So there it is. Connect to the dual band. So there it is, Belkin 74.5 gigahertz. Same one here for the Samsung phone. Let's go ahead and jump into the speed test application. I'm going to go here into settings, make sure I select the uh, the same server for both. Alright, now they're both saved in there. Let's go ahead and begin the test. I'm going to do one device first and then the other. Just so it's a fair. So it looks like the Samsung Note 3 came in at 22.95 on downloading speeds. And 4.79 on upload. So let's go ahead and test the iPhone 5S now. Again, same Wi-Fi, same place, same servers. Alright, so it looks like the iPhone came in at 23.08 on downloading speeds. Not a whole lot of a difference, but there is some difference. Again, that is download. And on upload speed, it looks like Samsung won at 4.27 uh, for the iPhone and 4.79 for the Galaxy phone. So that is the Wi-Fi test there for both devices. I'm not going to do network tests because network tests vary so much depending on your location. But that is the Wi-Fi antenna performance on both devices. Alright guys, so the next test I'm going to be doing is why our browser performance. I'm going to be uh, tapping on both devices to load up my blog. Of course, iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com. You can check it out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and load both up at the same time see which one loads my blog faster. Wow, the iPhone was almost instantaneously. Alright, so I'm going to scroll down here and get the non-mobile version of the website. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on both. Try to tap on both at the same time. This is harder than it looks. There it goes. Looks like the iPhone took off a little faster. And the iPhone's done loading up. There you go. The iPhone got done loading up there quicker. That is the uh, browser loading speed. Let's go ahead and do the uh, zoom in and out. There you go. As you can see there, uh, the text looks uh, bigger on the Galaxy, 
uh, Note 3, and also like brighter. But on the iPhone, it looks crisper. Uh, I don't know if you can, guys can really depict that here on the video, but you guys be the judge of that one. Of course, you can leave comments down below telling me what you think about all these tests here. Alright guys, so that about puts an end to this video comparison of Apple's new iPhone 5S and Samsung's new 